JYS TV viewers, you're back again. Let's go, fam. So I remember back in the day, mid nineties. I was all four, five years old. I remember watching Disney's classic, The Little Mermaid. You have to check it. I was four, five years old, mid nineties, and I watched The Little Mermaid for the first time. But please believe, The Little Mermaid was probably created in the seventies or the eighties, latest. Then films days old, like even Pinocchio and that. You'd think, oh yeah, it was made in the nineties and that. Nah, Pinocchio was made in like the sixties and that. I watched Pinocchio as a youth man like 10 times Back to back, back to back That and Aristocats and that Even that's probably made in like the 60s as well isn't it? So I used to watch all them little Disney classics and that Now The Little Mermaid, the main character is called Ariel Look a white girl, redhead, gingerhead girl isn't it? Of recent times Allegedly They've done a remake of the Little Mermaid classic but the Little Mermaid, the main character Ariel, is no longer played by a local white girl. Allegedly, she's played by a black girl. And this was posted up on social media, isn't it? My girl sent it to me. Man's checked out the post and that. And obviously, now that Ariel is depicted, portrayed by a black girl, obviously the black community had to put their two pence worth in. Had to say something, obviously, isn't it? Now, some woman made a comment about the film. It had nothing to do with black people. So basically, this is the plot of the film The Little Mermaid. Obviously, you know what a mermaid is, isn't it? Half human, half fish. Allegedly, mermaids have beautiful voices and that. So the legend goes, isn't it? And in the film The Little Mermaid, the little mermaid area wanted to be with a normal human being, a man. Yeah, a little boy or whatever in it, a little prince or whatever in it. Boom. But in order for her to be with the prince she had to give up her powers she had to become a normal human being so what she had to do is she had to sacrifice and surrender her voice to the fat octopus um ursula or whatever so anyway that's the main plot of this, the film whatever it was boom so of recent times they've done the remake and that and some woman i think her name's paloma she must have posted up tweeted commented something i'm gonna post up for you lot to read it for yourself in it But basically, she's talking about, I would never encourage my daughter to give up her powers, to sacrifice anything for a man or whatever, in it. And I hear that. I hear that. But it's like, some people may have amnesia. Some people may see what they want to see. Or some people have not seen certain things that have been put out into the social media way back in the day to program men to make sacrifice and give up everything. For that damsel in distress. Give up everything for a Ross Clark woman. Now I'm sure. I'm sure I, I read. And I've seen this. Um, was it Superman 2? Does anyone remember watching Superman 2? When Superman. Get me Clark Kent. Gave up all his powers. Surrendered up all his Ross Clark powers. Just to be with Lois Lane. Bro. Imagine. A man can move at the speed of light. The man can move moons, you know. The man is a superhero, superhuman strength. Laser eye, Ross Clark beam powers and all them things. They're coming like Cyclops from the Ross Clark X-Men, blood. A man gave up all of that just for a woman. You see, man, yeah, the reason why men are such neeks and simps nowadays is because we've been programmed. We've been programmed by R&B, yeah. Check out all, Joe, listen to all them man there. Jodeci, Keith Sweat, R. Kelly, baby, please, one more chance. I'm begging you, baby, and that. Blood, you don't understand the, the, the power of influence, the power of indoctrination, the power of social media. You trust me, watching something day in, day out, blood, you get programmed. I guarantee you, you man watching my videos enough, you man will get programmed by me. I'm not saying you man are robots, I'm not saying you man are sheep, blood. But you keep watching something over and over again, you get programmed, whether it's in a good way or a bad way. I guarantee you, since some of you man been watching my thing, certain you man have been thinking, you know what? Blood, you know what? Black people are not victims no more, fam. You know what? I'm not a victim, blood. You know what, my man that's, I'm, I'm watching all the time on a daily basis and that, or every three days, and I come and drop videos every three days. You know what, he's got a point, you know. You know what, if he can do it, I can, blood. This is the power of social media. This is the power of influence, blood. This is why men are so simpian. This is why men are willing to give up everything for a woman. 
So yeah, maybe the woman has a point. Oh yeah, I would never allow my daughter. I'm disgusted or whatever. She said that, you know, uh, a female would give up everything for a man. Blood. Men have been giving up everything for women since the day dot blood. Literally. Just dumb stuff like that in a film. At the time you were watching, like, oh yeah, that's nice and sweet, you know, like, oh, Superman wanted to give up all his powers for Lois Lane and that. And you'll think that, yeah, man, that's the right thing to do. Blood, it's not the right thing to do, fam. As a man, you cannot sacrifice nothing for a woman, blood. You can't give up nothing for a woman. Because ultimately, the woman is going to leave you, blood. If not at the time, yeah, she might think it's nice. She might think that's a sweet thing to do. But blood, in the back of her head, in this woman's subconscious, blood, she's going to know. Nah, no man of value will do this stuff that... Like, come on, why would you give up all your powers? You're the only person on planet Earth that possesses these gifts and that. And you're going to give it all up for some woman that one day she's just going to wake up and think, I'm not, I've lost attraction for you or you're too nice and that. You're mad. Yeah, man's a madman, blood. I know it's a film, but there are men that give up everything for women, blood. I said in one of my videos before, I was watching 90 Day Fiance with my girl. And there was a guy, let's say, for example... He's American, he's white, he brought over a girl from Colombia and they're in the East Coast, they're in New York. And this Colombian chick wanted to do some modelling career and that. You get me? She got scouted, for example. But the job is going to be in California, the West Coast and that. She wanted to go over there and my man got a new job opportunity or whatever. And he had to stay in... So there's a plane going above my head or something like that. He had to stay in the East Coast and that. She wanted to move to the West Coast. My man wanted to give up his job and his life and that or something like that. To go and move to the West Coast for her to pursue her career, blood. Fam, as a man, blood, you got to be willing to lose your gal over your career and over success, blood. I'm telling you, if you're in a position right now where you've got success and a career to pick or you've got your woman to pick, pick the fucking career, blood. Remember, no woman really puts any money in a man's pocket, you know. The woman will respect you more. Even if she does break up with you, even if she has to cut ties, she's going to respect you more for picking the career as opposed to picking her. Because all it takes is for her to lose attraction for you. All it takes, if, especially if you don't understand female dynamics and that, blood, you're going to end up losing that woman one way or another. So you're better off losing that woman, picking success, picking, you get me, money over the woman, fam. Any day, blood. If my girl said to me, Jay, I'm going back to Sweden or wherever in it, yeah, I said, well, you're going back to Sweden then. I'm staying here. I've got too much going on. That's how I know a man has got nothing going on where, where he is. If he's willing to just up sticks and move, I don't know, 150,000 miles on the other side of America and that. No way, blood. You think I can move to uh, Scotland and that? How am I going to maintain my properties and that? You think I can move to Sweden? Am I going to service and look after my properties and that? But I ain't got time for that, blood. If my girl wanted to move to another country, then she's moving to another country. I'm staying right here, blood. Maybe not in Northampton. I'll stay in London or whatever, innit? But I'm not following no woman. As a man, you're the leader, blood. So it's either you're leading yourself on your own or you're leading yourself and the woman's following you. You don't follow no woman, fam. No men are value. You, you think you think Jeff Bezos is, is is picking up himself and going to you think when Jeff Bezos was was building up Amazon and that you think he was thinking to himself, yeah, you know, I gotta drop out Amazon and that and, and go and follow this woman. That, nah, fam. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, man. No man of value does that shit, blood. That's low value male tendencies. But yeah, literally, we've been programmed from day to give up and sacrifice everything. For a Ross Clark woman. When they wouldn't do it for us. <laughs> Man, you think women, women women do not do it. More men sacrifice more for women than women sacrifice for men. Any day. Any day. And that's how it has to be. Yeah? The man has to be chasing money, chasing success and that. And the woman follows him. And you know, if the woman don't want to follow him, then yeah, go find someone else in it. You know how many men out here did not go to university? Because their girlfriend was in this part of town or whatever in it. And they didn't want to... It's so sad, you know. There's certain men, they might have been given an opportunity, like a scholarship to go to Edinburgh University. Yeah? Free education and that. Yeah? Certain universities like University of Edinburgh, University of Manchester, University of Birmingham, University of Nottingham. They're part of the Russell Group. 
Yeah, they're the top tier universities and that. Not the local South Bank, not the local London Met, the local, yeah, not the local DMU, the local idiot universities. No disrespect to anyone I went there, innit? But none of them local mediocre universities and that. There's certain people, they've been given scholarships and that to go to a top university like Edinburgh because it specialises in psychology, for example. You know, there's some guys walking around right now who didn't take the scholarship and that because of their girlfriend that's based in London or wherever in it, yeah? England. And then, years later, their girl fucking leaves them. That's what I say in my videos, blood. Don't give up nothing. Don't hold back no dreams and no aspirations for nobody. No friends, no family members, no colleagues and that. Don't worry about no one's opinion. Because at one point in your life, yeah, at some point in your life, these people are not going to be there, you know. Think about it this way. Why do you even care about the opinions of people truly if they're not even putting no money in your pocket? If you fell, you fell on hard times, they're not going to put five grand in your pocket, in your bank balance, yeah, in, in your bank account, blood. It's madness. So... Yeah, man, we, we've been programmed from day, yeah, as men, to, 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 to sacrifice it or give up, up, give it all up for women and that. Imagine, uh, this man out here really sacrificed their whole life and that for women, for the woman to then clean them out when they get married, after they get divorced and that. So there's man out here that have sacrificed that great op job opportunity, that great career, that great university opportunity, to then get married to said woman for her to then clean him out in 10 years time. That could have all been avoided. So the, the more the story is blood, just chase money blood, chase money. Money will never leave you, yeah? Unless you're done with it, obviously. Women will always leave you fam. At the end of the day, when it comes to women and that, no matter how much you're in love with a woman, there's an imaginary sand timer in between you and your girl. So, yeah, you get with her and you get me 2023, January the 1st, whatever, innit, yeah? There's an imaginary sand timer. The clock is ticking. It might last 50 years. It might last 50 days. But at some point, the relationship is going to be over, fam. Unfortunately, it's morbid thinking, whatever you want to think. Yeah, 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 pessimist thinking. And it's the truth, blood. You stay grinding, you stay chasing sex. Money will always be there for you, innit? This is how you got to think. This how you, and, and this is coming from a man that has a girl. I'm not some guy that don't have a girl. Me and my girl for you. This is a guy that has a girl, blood. Yeah? Like, if it's coming from a man that, you know these men, they hate women and that. I don't know, innit? But this is coming from a man that has a girl. Yeah? So, yeah, you got to listen to what I'm saying, fam. I'm saying, and my girl watches my thing, blood. You see... When you're a man of value and that, and when you really speak the truth and you're someone, you're a man of substance and that, but you can get away with talking like this and your girl's not going to go nowhere. Your girl's not going to go nowhere. I'll, leave the, I'll, <laughs> I'll release this video, check back my new videos in two, three weeks' time. You'll see comments from my girl. She ain't going nowhere. She ain't going nowhere. When you're a man of substance and that, when, you get me, you bring value, yeah, your woman ain't going nowhere. You can talk hella cash. Yeah, you, you can talk madness, blood. She ain't going nowhere and that. And that's it, blood. Anyway, that's it for today, man. Stay wise. Don't know.